I look rough. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Maybe go brush your hair? No, we're fine. No, Sam, go brush your hair. We're fine. This is part. Do you want to give you some? Okay, get next to me. I'm judging by the title of the video, we're going to be doing my 11 year old sister's makeup. Say hi to the folks hi. at home, Sam. Folks at home. <laughs> Okay, so this makeup look is all drugstore makeup, and it's really kind of like starter makeup because uh, she's 11, she's going into middle school, so we don't want her to look too old, but this is kind of just getting started with makeup, and I'll be telling you like the uses for everything. Very good starter makeup in this little kit I have. All right, so first, um, when you're gonna do your makeup, in the morning for school, you're gonna wanna make sure that your hands are washed, so I just wash my hands. And you're gonna wanna make sure that your face is clean, your face, your face is clean. Is your face clean? No. A, I don't know where I've been. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take this makeup wipe and really just like clear her face off. Oh God! Mm -hmm. All right, so that's good. Oh my gosh, Sam, you look like Rudolph right now. <laughs> I do. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to prime her face. I don't think I'm going to use any foundation on her face because she has really pretty freckles. She used to call them sparkles when she was a baby. I did. That's adorable. Oh, I know this isn't drugstore, but I do have professional. I always have the Baby Skin um, Primer by Maybelline, but I'm out of it for right now, but Maybelline's baby skin is a very close dupe to the professional primer so this is going to really um, make your pores look a lot smaller and you don't even have to wear like foundation over it you can wear it by itself yeah get rid of that oily ass skin oh you got lipstick on your teeth <laughs> moving on do you mind if I tweeze your eyebrows okay fine will it hurt we're gonna skip eyebrows um, we are definitely not gonna do eyebrows because I don't want this to turn into a fight I am gonna kind of like experiment you don't have to do your eyebrows just like you don't have to do your foundation for school every day but I'm going to just define her I am going to be using the Maybelline eyebrow define a brow I don't know if you can see that yeah and this is in the shade light brown. We're gonna comb down first. Ah! So we're gonna start start at the top. We're going to start um, from the top so we can get like an actual idea of the brow shape. I'm really not gonna go too hard on this just because this isn't really something that you have to do for school. Um, it's kind of like a preference thing. <laughs> I'm 11. It's kind of hard to do with brows that haven't been tweezed, but I think I have a, I did something with them. I made them darker, whatever. So yeah, that's just really optional. Um, I only did my eyebrows some days whenever I felt like it until like senior year. I think I started doing it every day. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna correct some of that redness on her face, especially around her nose. Um, I'm gonna use the Age Rewind Concealer. There's a lot of great um, drugstore concealers. <laughs> so you can definitely put on concealer and not foundation. My nose itches so bad. I don't have a booger, I promise. You sure? But you can conceal spots that are like problem areas and see her um, freckles are still peeking through, which is awesome. We don't want to conceal them, at least for right now. And also I don't have a shade that matches her. Another tip for like school makeup is if you are a very like busy individual, like you have cheerleading or whatever have you after school, um, make sure you bring makeup wipes. Uh, nobody will judge you if you take off your makeup because my problem was, I think I said this in my Java with Jess, my first <laughs> Shh. 
Um, my first one, it, I said that I was so busy and I would go like a full day with like a full face of makeup on and it would clog my pores to the gods. So make sure you bring something to take your makeup off if you aren't gonna be home until like 10 o'clock at night. So now that we have the concealer blended out and everything, we are going to powder and I have the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. It's only like $6, I think. Ooh, my mirror is gross. Nice job! <laughs> so it's just like a translucent pressed powder. I prefer using this now with um, my skin just because it doesn't look as heavy. We don't want you to look like you're about to go to the club for school, so we're just gonna dust this on your face really blend it out make sure even your powders are blended out why do you look like you've drooled right there <laughs> wait what <laughs> Ew, <Sam. laughs> i don't know what to do another um option for you is bronzer and i've used this in a lot of videos but this is the bronze booster bronzer yeah. by physicians formula please stop interrupting me i'm going to kill you my nose itches. I'm gonna take a big brush. And just saying you don't have to do this. This is supposed to be like 10 minute makeup. What we're at 1032, great. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start at the very top of your forehead and just kinda like pat it into your forehead. I'm not used to the stuff being in my nose. Don't go too heavy. You can build your um, coverage. I would maybe go a little, not heavy, but put a generous amount on the first few months of school and once it starts to get a little cold, I would kind of lighten it up. Maybe go a little more um, cool toned with your bronzer. This is pretty cool toned already, which works well with like yellow toned skin. Sam's pretty neutral, leaning on the pink side, but I think it looks pretty good with her freckles and everything. Um, and we're going to definitely add some to the tip of her little nose, just to look more sun-kissed. I would definitely not do this in the winter time. It's like it just gives her more of a button nose look. All right, kind of button nose. Even more. Double, <laughs> triple, more better. And maybe even go along your jawline. <laughs> maybe go down the neck a little bit, but not too hard. You don't want it to go into your clothing. Next! Um, let's see. Okay. You don't usually have to put eyeshadow on. Do you want eyeshadow or no? I don't care. It's your face. For an everyday look, I think we're not going to do any eyeshadow. Oh, come on. I'm in a video without eyeshadow, sure. <laughs> I am going to set her lids with powder so they don't get oily throughout the day. I know since we're sisters, um, I typically get oily eyeballs, so she probably does too. Close your eyes. I'm doing <laughs> So we're just going to put more of that e.l.f. translucent powder on top of her eyes just to prevent any oily nastiness coming out. Yeah, goopers. I get those in the morning. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and um, what I think we're going to do is, of course, you don't have to add any eyeshadow or you can do a full face. It's more of your preference. Um, there's plenty of videos for like soft glam looks if you're older and in high school and everything or if you're in middle school and you're just a talented makeup artist you can do whatever you want if you have time but this is like more of the everyday um i just got up like five minutes ago and the bus comes in 10. so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to take more of that bronzer and i'm just gonna put it all over her crease close your eyes yeah I actually decided I'm gonna put this all over her eye just to like give her a wash of color. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, next step is mascara and we actually went out, me and my mom today, and got Sam her first thing of mascara. And if you know makeup or anything and you've been wearing makeup for a while, 
then you probably know what we got her as her first ever big curl mascara and that is of course the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara in dark brown because black is a little too harsh so I'm going to take this great lash mascara I'm gonna try to teach Sam how to put on her own mascara I know how I just don't want I'm scared which way do I look here you can face me it kind of lights up your head if I die from this a good way to do it is to like Go from the bottom of your lashes and really wiggle them up so you can get all the lashes covered. Yeah, girl. And while that first coat of lashes like dries down, I'm gonna put on some highlighter. This is, of course, also optional. You could just like put on some concealer and go. Actually, no, I forgot blush. <laughs> mm -hmm. For blush, I'm going to be using a really pretty peachy um, glowy blush by Milani Cosmetics. This is the Luminoso shade number five. Very peachy, very pretty. This is going to really look um, very pretty like going into fall, like late summer. And to really make sure you you like oh wait no oh mm. <laughs> she looking rough <laughs> to make sure that you look really pretty smiling and everything go ahead and smile actually no yeah okay hold okay your, hold it you're gonna touch the apples of your cheeks hurry I know it hurts you to smile that much right uh this is what it's like working at Disneyland mm. and you're gonna kind of blend upward and blush is something that you really want to be careful with. You don't want to go too heavy because then it looks fake. Um, so that gave her just kind of like a wash of color. And if you feel like you need to blend it out, of course you don't need like a beauty sponge or anything. You can start with the uh, white cube things. And we're just going to like blend it out. What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> it's kind of weird. On here and there's somebody out there yeah that sounds better. Mm -hmm. now we're gonna put on a second coat of mascara oh my god with the second coat you're gonna really want to fan it out um i just made a mistake i got some <laughs> mascara on her eyebrow Wait, let me but see. that's not like a bad thing oh no you can definitely um fix it just kind of just let it dry just let it dry and I will show you a way to just kind of like scrape it off easily. Uh, Sam, stop moving your freaking eyes. Uh, it's them, not me. Oh, right there too. It wasn't my fault. She moves a lot. Okay, now time for highlighter. Um, <sighs> what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Transition. So for her highlight, I'm going to use something kind of subtle, kind of not. Um, this is <laughs> this is the ColourPop Wisp highlighter. This is available at a lot of Ulta's. Um, you might want to check to see if your Ulta has ColourPop. Um, sometimes it's a very disappointing surprise when you go into an Ulta wanting to look at ColourPop stuff and it's not freaking available and you can also order this online it's like eight dollars i still consider it drugstore it's on the drugstore side of ulta and if you can't find those just spray the perfume it's fun <laughs> what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the highest point of your cheekbones see right here it's where it's like <laughs> what the heck was that guys <laughs> see right here is like the highest point of my cheekbones so it's where the sun is naturally like shining on you so you're gonna take your highlighting brush and this is the highest point of sam's <laughs> what? so you're going to take it on the highest point of her cheeks right here mm -hmm. just really lightly dust 
The thing about ColourPop highlighters oh. is, yeah, you definitely have to blend after applying. I don't know why. I think it's because of how, like, wet the product is. I'm going to put some on her nose right mm. there to give her more of that butt nose. You love it, don't you? Oh. <laughs> Maybe some on the side, very softly, right above. You don't want to look too sweaty, ladies. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to blend that out because, like I said, sometimes with ColourPop highlighters, you really, like, need to blend it out. So now she's all nice, fresh, and glowy. I feel like lip gloss is more practical for middle school. So hey. for lip gloss, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild lip gloss um, in the shade. If you haven't noticed, I'm in middle school. <laughs> I don't know what shade this is, but I will look for it online and put the shade uh, name in the bottom. Sorry. If you do uh, wear these to school, I recommend putting them in your backpack or your makeup bag because they don't last that long, but they're really good for the price. Aw. Uh. And a really good tip for when you're just getting into makeup is after you apply any like lipstick you have to take a cloth or like some toilet paper or anything and press down. She knows what I'm talking about. And now I'm going to take that mascara off. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a spoolie. There's a little bit of hair on it. Oops. Spaghetti. Spoolie. <laughs> and you're just going to like... Oh. And you are basically done. If you wanna take it a step farther and make sure that you're... Uh... What am I saying? Hold on, actually, I'm gonna apply more powder. Ah! Oh. And now we're basically done. So what we're gonna do now is, if you wanna take it a step farther, you can spray with setting spray. What I actually use is, I use a facial spray by Mario Badescu. Mario Badescu, this is not a drugstore, but NYX has really good setting spray. Wet n Wild has amazing setting spray. Um, Elf has setting spray. So you can go ahead and just spray a few sprays. Close my eyes. Okay. <laughs> and you're ready for school. And um, if you like ignore all of the banter between my sister and I, it only takes like 10 to 15 minutes, maybe even five if you're like in a hurry. So it's really like not that bad. Sorry, you look a little wet. Oh, <gasps> my eyes look pretty. Yeah. My eyes look really pretty. Maybe it's the filter. There is no filter. Oh. Who is that girl? Lossy. Staring back at me. Alright guys, if you like this video, go ahead and like it and um, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more. Um, and I think that's about it. And let me know when school starts for you if you've already started school. And let me know if school sucks or not. <laughs> Let me know your favorite subject in school. Alright guys, I will see you guys later. See ya.